Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are in Ikoyi, Lagos, Nigeria. And I'm going to take you guys on a tour of this lovely two-story mansion right here in Ikoyi. Most of you know Ikoyi. It's uh, one of the highest brow areas right here in town, right? I'm going to give you some spec of the house and then I and the leasing agent will tour this property pinpointing every little details to you. Me a second time. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to tell you of the bad. The asking price for the property is 900 million naira, which is around 1.6 million dollars. So yeah, when people hear about price points like that, they are very curious to see what the property has. Okay. Right. So I'm very hopeful at the end of this video, they should be able to say, okay, at least it's it's worth it, right? Yeah, definitely. This property is worth it. I was listening to you introduce uh, this magnificent one. It's yeah. beautiful. I, I'm pumped already. I can't wait to show them what this, <laughs> what this entails. But for those people who talk about Ikoyi and the price point of properties here, yeah. I'd like for you to notice that when um, uh, valuating a property in Ikoyi, don't yeah. just start with the house itself. Yeah. So you start with the land. So this axis is where this property is located. Yeah. You have um, a square meter going from uh, about 700 to about 900,000 there per square meter. Wow. You get so when you sum that up to the 500 square meter or 600 square meter that a house sits on, yeah. you should know that the value. That's where the pricing starts from. Yeah. So not just the house itself. So when yeah. they had those use some, they just think about um, but of course, you know, the people who want to buy, buy property already like know. They, yeah. they already know. So that's the home that's of all money right here in Lagos, right? <laughs> Alright, so let's uh let's take them on so but I think we should start from the outdoor space, right? Okay, that's fine. So uh, the first thing I'd like to introduce you to on this property yeah. is this uh, spacious compound. Yeah. So this compound can literally take about six cars, five, six cars, you know, and then you have all this greeneries yeah. carefully manicured and arranged for you to give you that extra feel of nature. Yeah. You know, so it's a beautiful one. And then if you check, you have CCTV cameras everywhere. You have a motorized um, entrance gate. Yes, yeah. This house is, you should be feeling the vibe already. Well, what do what, you think? What I, what I think is I felt the developer would have sort of like integrated an underground car park because um, okay. I'd have loved this space to just be like open sit out space and then he's like, people can all drive in there. Okay. But, uh, okay. From <laughs> my experience or from things that I've noticed about houses with underground parking, sometimes it has to do with the terrain or the type of um, land oh, that, really? you know, yeah, because um, most times if it's slopey or there's just a way that, you know, it, um, uh, it has a direct correlation with the topography of or the land area, itself. Yeah. So, but this is just a flat bed and I think the best option was to just, you know, do yeah. it on the side. So you have about four cars on this side, you have one extra one here, you can park two in front of there. there. Yeah. All right, listen, because I don't know who, who has that many cars though? <laughs> of course, if you can All buy right. a house of this sum, you should. You should, right? <laughs> Okay, Steve, um, you can tell that the facade of this house is so interesting. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I love about this house, it's this brown wood-like finish on the wall. Yeah. You know, perfect blend of um, um, that exquisite vibe. So where you have the brown, you have the gray, you have the white, you and then the you white, have a yeah. touch of the green, green you yeah. know? That's beautiful. The, the, com the color combination actually doesn't make the house too flat. It just makes it... Uh, calm and soothing. Calm, yeah. That's great. So, <laughs> Steve, I really want to show you this house. Let's okay. go right in. But before right. we go inside, I want you to take notice of the, um, uh, the entrance door. Uh, yeah. So this is an, um, an automated um, door lock. So yeah. you can use your fingerprint. There's a camera here that says yeah. who's at the door and it's everything. A, yeah. I think this, this technology is becoming more um available yeah. because most property right now they just have and you know it's it's sort of like um, a standard in the industry yeah that if you're going to do your main though at least you have some sort of everybody you know, wants to embrace that smart feature yeah Tech is taking over <laughs> don't be left behind all right let's go steve, in. let's go inside right. come on welcome home steve yeah it actually has this welcoming feeling <laughs> it's beautiful so this is officially the foyer on this property or what yeah. we call the ante room and uh, you can set it up like nicely with um, your chairs and everything to welcome your visitors. Yeah. And then on the left-hand side, you have the guest room. 
and something that actually caught my attention is okay. just um, first of all the high ceilings. No, oh, beautiful. Right off the back, I don't see any hanging split units, so I can already tell that there's a there's a central cooling yeah, system. That's smart. Um, I'm yeah, pro at this thing already. <laughs> <laughs> so you have so, the controls. No, because when you step into a property, there yeah. are just some things that you should you should see because for True. a price point like 1.6 million, yo, like this thing should be there, right? The switches and. Um, the knobs and the toilet areas yeah. are all made with gold, like what you have here. Oh, okay. Do you know, just to create that level of exquisiteness that okay. we're trying to yeah. You yeah. Know, make sense. show. I don't even know if that's the word, exquisiteness. But <laughs> let's, let's keep it rolling. I mean, welcome to, to the, the limit the... area. Okay. Um, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand the synergy. So, okay, I think it's now I get it, right? Okay. You have this lovely. I don't know, it seems like uh, marbles, yeah. golden marbles, okay. mixed on with the golden um, socket, and then it just has this gold line. So I, I think the, the the developer was quite intentional when he sure. at least did some sure. of these things. So because it's more like a stone um, towel. Yeah. You get, and it's beautiful. These are imported stone towels, you know, very um, sophisticated. So I, I believe the, 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 TV, the TV console is supposed to be so over here. here. Yeah. All right. So the, this, this whole stretch demarcates into two. So you have this place as your living area so you have your chairs facing this axis yeah and then on this side you could set up your dining table properly you know so this is a long stretch for a big dining table for a big family yeah you get it. Yeah. and um i love the fact that this is a double volume living area you know so you have your chandelier dropping from up there, from up there and then yeah. if you look up there you would see your um AC uh, outlet, central. yeah, central. it's central. So the yeah. outlet you have some up there, you have some on this other side, yeah, and it's beautiful. So you forgot to add the actually speakers. Um, yeah, I want to show you. Remember earlier on, I talked about this house being a smart house. Yeah, yeah. So if you take notice of this, these are control units. So you have them almost on every floor. Floor. You get. So this is one here. There's another, another one on one this here. side here. Same function. Yeah, same function. You get. Not necessarily same function. I think this one sees who's outside. You can see this is a video of, um, this is like, a, it, it, it's attached to the video um, doorbell that's outside, outside there, there. the camera outside. So this actually controls, you know, the lightings, the speaker, oh, okay. you know, and every other thing, the AC yeah. units and stuff in, on this particular this floor. floor. Okay. Over Love here, it. Steve, it's the uh, elevator yeah, access elevator, yeah. that goes upstairs and it's beautiful. Yeah, this so door leads into the kitchen. Into the kitchen. Yeah. So I think before we should go into the kitchen, let's um, talk about the, the swimming pool on this end. Okay, so right here we have the swimming pool. On this other end, you can exit or en enter the, the, the property, right? And then you have this lovely starlight right here. And if you check the wall, you have all the stone effects and um, you know beautification that was nicely yeah. done. And then the beautiful yeah. astro top that was carefully laid all around the house. So this is the um, utility areas where you have the gen and every other thing. Um, this is end. over there. Okay. Did I add that this house comes with the 60 kV Perkins generator? Yeah, I think you kind of, um, you said okay. it comes with the generator, but not All the... All right, that's great. <laughs> you know, sometimes when I look at this um, angle, what I think of is, imagine having like a, a, a private dinner for just few friends. Yeah. You know, this is the dining area, and then overlooking the swimming pool. Ooh, so yeah. you can have like nice barbecue set up here, yeah. and then some people inside here, it just creates the seamless feel of them yeah you know? i love Great. it for me it's the it's a starlight and what it does in the night you know it's beautiful <laughs> i think you should see this at night <laughs> all right let's, let's go to let's go right of the property okay steve now i'm about to show you one of the finest kitchens in the world well um, is that an exaggeration <laughs> <laughs> well really for me it's the it's the blend of colors right yeah. This it's is, very this calm, is yeah. relaxing, you know, the marble countertop yeah. and all this um, uh, LED uh, lightings and the cabinetry just makes it, you know, unique and uh, very exquisite. And it's, let me point this out, you will know this a heat extractor, right? It is just, awesome. Yeah. This is so not the conventional heat extractor that you see out yeah, there. Right. And um, this kitchen comes with um, a Mila kitchen range. Um, you have your induction hub over here, you have your gas burner. Over here, the oven and then the microwave. Yeah. This house is beautiful. And then it has uh, uh, this marble feel yeah. inside um, the let drawers. Me, let me point that out. It's not marble, actually. It's wood, but it has yeah, that feeling, right? It has, but it's beautiful. Yeah. Also, you can um, easily just place this on here. You have your phone charging. That's a wireless charger. Yeah. And also, this is something I love about this kitchen. This is a gold faucet. And then it was carefully blended with this uh, um, bronze, bronze uh, wash and sink, yeah. so it's beautiful. Over here you have um, a plate rack with a motorized, nice yeah, yeah. 
this is this is awesome, you know. Once it touches down, you take it back off. Pull back up again, you know, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And on this end, we have additional storage for your plate as well. This is beautiful. Yeah. And then that goes into where we close it. And I think I know the person that designed this kitchen. Oh. She's yeah, so she's phenomenal. She, she, was, yeah, I think she also designed the other house. That yeah, we saw, right? so these things like putting these things in her kitchen. This is beautiful. Oh, yeah, I want to show you the pantry. pantry. You know, okay. It's sizable, it has, um, you know, the storage space is already designed. It's yeah, it's beautiful. You know, everything was thoughtfully designed for this yeah. house. You know? All right, Steve, so that's that about this kitchen. And um, let's go check out other parts of this house. Of the house, right? Um, let's go upstairs. Should we use the lift or staircase? No, I think we should use the staircase first. Let's go. <laughs> yes, that's, that's cool. So this is, you can see that. It's yeah. an automated um, um, light, stairway Very lighting needed, system. Yeah. So it has sensors that I know, like that. It's really knows when you're around. And then that's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so this is the first floor. So from what I can see, this is uh, the family lounge right here. Sizable. This is very big. Very, uh, one of this the biggest I've seen for yeah, a family lounge, right? Yeah, this is right? very big for a family yeah. lounge. And then it has this lovely space overlooking the living room, you know? Very lovely. And very strong, you know, uh, barricade over there. So what Plus do we have barricade. on this floor? So you have a cinema to my right here. Okay. You have one room over there. There's a balcony that leads to the, ex um, the uh, uh, external part of this house. Yeah. And then you have your... Uh, elevator access from downstairs here. Okay. So let's start with the cinema. The Let cinema me show first. you this. All right. Um, this is one of the best cinemas I've seen. I mean, properly done. Yeah. This, I'll is, say. this was nicely done. Yeah. It's a six-seater cinema, and then you have all these beautiful lightings embedded in the wall. Yeah. You know, you have your ACs, you have um, your projector. It's just beautiful. Yeah. You have your um, starlight, starlight ceilings too. Yeah. So it's it's actually a nice one. Automated chairs as yeah, well. Yeah, you so. can. The chair has con the chair has controls that you can, you know, use to recline and do um, any other thing you want to do on it. You know, you right. can just have your back laid while you see Watch a movie. Watch a lovely movie, all right? Yeah. So okay. let's go check out other parts, Steve. <laughs> all right. From the cinema, we now move directly to the first room on this floor. So to my left, you have yeah. a room. It has the walk-in closet to the side, and then come check out something with the toilet. <laughs> yeah, this house yeah. is gold themed. You get <laughs> so you have these unique um, gold uh, fixtures on, you know, the uh, shower cubicle. That's something I love as well. The vanity, you know, you just have a mix Come of check out even the, the marble has gold in it. If you yeah. look at it, right? And then also, Steve, take notice of um, the control for you know the light fixtures and other things. This is what you have in here. Yeah. And this one controls the music. The music. Yeah. Oh yeah, the uh, speakers on top. So Steve, there's a door that leads to a balcony on this floor. Oh, there. Okay. Yeah, this this floor has a balcony too. All right. So let's uh, go upstairs and yeah. let's see what upstairs has to offer. You know, you know one thing I also like about the the staircase. You know, the the lighting is actually hidden, so you don't see it. Yeah, it you just don't comes see on it. when you step on it. When you step on it. Yes. Yeah. Once you come closer, you don't even need to step oh, on okay. it. Oh, okay. So this is the detector for it. Yeah. yeah you have the. Detector this is the detector right here for it. Yeah. And this is uh, where you have the primary bedroom suite. You have your elevator access here. You have two other rooms and the kitchenette too on this floor. Yeah. And then to my right, you have a study. You know, you can use it for whatever you like, maybe a home office yeah. or a study, just what suits yeah. your preference. Study would work for that. Great. So on this side, you have your um, the same um, gold and uh, bronze, bronze um, yeah. you know, work from like what we saw downstairs. downstairs and then yeah. you have your kitchen cabinetry Probably over cabinet, here. Yeah. So let's check out the the study this is pretty more spacious and exactly. i like the fact that it has, it has yeah so you can have proper ventilation and proper lighting coming into this space you know yeah. for all your reading and studying and office work yeah. so let's go see the primary bedroom suite this mm. is um, beautiful it has a, a glass wall to um, to the front, and I know you can gives, see just high rise. Yeah, this know. just gives you views of Ikoi and proper ventilation and lighting into this the space. You know, so that's beautiful. You know, you have your um, home automation control on this side, the panel here, and then you have. You can actually see what's happening outside. Yeah, you can see. You know, some cameras are attached to that. To my um, right here, you have the, the first walk-in closet. Did you call it the first walk-in closet? Yeah, yeah, because I said there are two inside here. There are two walk-in closets oh, inside the master's, okay. inside the uh, primary suit. And um, you can use the spade for some sit-out while you do uh, test your shoes and all of that. I think the, the man has this portion of the house, you yeah. know? Yeah. So let's go see the second one. All right, Steve, so this is 
um, the second walk-in closet and a primary um, suite, bedroom suite. So you have all this um, lovely, uh, space. Yeah, lovely space for your clothes and bags and you know, you have so many storage. Yeah. You know, it's just beautiful and all. And then, um, though right now the lights are turned off, this um, cabinetry all come with LED lights inside, you know, they are yeah. beautiful. And then, remember I said something about something unique about this primary bedroom suit? Yeah. Do you want to see that? Yeah, I, I, I kind of mentioned it at the beginning of the video. Oh, you so did already? I've exposed okay, that so, information already. All right, <laughs> so this is where you have uh, a panic room. Of course, looking at this, this just looks like, you know, when you're closed yeah. you get nobody would think about it. Even when you open it, this is you literally know? just the closet when yeah. you open it. But then, come with me. Wow. <laughs> Okay, this, so, this is going to come handy a lot of times. Yeah. And I would not fair enough to put people to sleep yeah, in it. So for me, when I, I had, had a conversation with someone, um, it, not necessarily just for, um, you know, when you're in danger, danger or, something, or something, because yeah. this is pretty, uh, pretty uh, a secure area. Yeah. It could just be maybe a man cave where you just mm. want to come think of some, you know, just clear your head or something, you know? Yeah. And you can set it up. You can even have your office in here, you know, just do whatever you want. <laughs> so let's go see right. other parts of this house. So this is what you have. Yeah. You have um, your bathtub over here. And I like the fact that the designer, the developer of this property actually maintained the gold thing everywhere. Everywhere. So you have the, the house, towel yeah. rack, gold. You have your faucet for the, for the what's it called? Bath the top. sink, um, yeah. the bathtub, gold. You have all these gold trims and right, right it just blends All nicely. the way to the, the handle. Yeah, you see right here. all your um, um, junction, you know, knobs and yeah. everything, your handles the are gold all gold there, right. in this um, restroom. Now, there's something I like again. This doubles as a mirror and then also a TV wall. Do you get it? So it's uh, centralized in a way, whether you're in a standing shower or you're in the bathtub, you know, you still can Great. You know, beauty. So something so we don't miss this out. It comes with a, a smart toilet yeah, system toilet. right here. So you have controls on this side. You yeah. have um, it, it also comes with like a remote control too for you to have that rolling. Perfect. And then also check out all the faucets and the knobs, the control knobs for the sink. Yeah. All the same gold. Beautiful. You have this lovely um, wall bracket. And it's just unique. Look over there. You have a rain, uh, rain shower head. And then you also have, I think that's a heat extractor. Well, uh, right yeah, just like a, an extractor, not necessarily heat, it's but just, just takes out maybe yeah, smell okay. or something, takes it out. All right, you get fair it. enough. So Steve, what's your favorite thing about this primary bedroom? Well, for me, um, usually before, whenever I step into a primary bedroom, I'm always about space, like it has to be massive, right? Yeah. But when you come right here, it's just the little attention to details, you know, gold pleated lights, handles, Right, you have two walk-in closets. closets. You yeah. also have a panic, panic room. Come on, man. The guy it's was quite intentional room. when yeah, he did so all of this. I like, I think they paid um, a rapt attention to functionality. Yeah. That's something, you know, some people design just for, you know, oh, let's let just it be fine. fine. Yeah. But this developer actually paid attention to functionality. That's why you yeah. have the panic room and some of these other extra features to come Unless we forget there's an open yeah. service outside there's here an, for the primary bedroom. So Steve, this is um, the, third room that we're seeing on this property. Let's start with the toilet. You have the living space over here. Welcome. Yeah, Did you notice the, yeah, yeah, so it has sensors and then the same gold knobs and you know, you have your sink, you have lots of drawers on this here. here, you know, for store your things. And then you have the same smart um, toilet seat toilet. over here. And then when you come into the shower cubicle itself, you notice the same gold um, knobs and look at this shower head yeah beautiful right. i love this house all right so everything kind of has this um, automated lighting and i love it yeah that's with, beautiful with speakers and the vent for the speaker system. yeah i think you can still see the outside yeah, 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 yeah. security so this you have your control box to your control panel for you need an automated house yeah yeah i also love the flooring coming in you're going to think it's wood but uh, it's not actually it's beautiful Steve. yeah and then um, I'm a sucker for ventilation. You know, I right. yeah, I hate staying in boxed places. So when I go to a house that you can tell that, you know, lots of windows and cross ventilation, I yeah. love to point that out. That's something that this house gives you. So right. Steve, let's see the other room. Um, the second room is pretty much, the I mean, the, the fourth room right now, we're seeing there's a third one. Yeah. The fourth is pretty much the same with this. 
Should we do that? Yeah. Let's go upstairs. I it's think, the same. Yeah, it's so the same elevator access. You have your lights coming up. Yeah. So Tony, I'm gonna to want to think that this uh, is a recreational floor. Yeah. Right. It is. So on this floor, um, you have one bedroom. You have a gym. You have a very lovely open terrace, and then you have very a sauna for just one person. And then you have your elevator entrance into this floor. So I think we should look, take a look at the room first, right? Good. And then you also have this space, you know, like a family lounge, like yeah. another living so area. So this is too. like, you have how many family lounge here? Like three? <laughs> three. Okay. Um, all right, so the, the room looks um, similar. Okay, this is, uh, it's looking a bit bigger. Yeah, so apart from the primary bedroom, so yeah. this is literally the second biggest bedroom on this property. So, yeah. It has even a bigger walk-in closet to my um, right here. You have the same gold thing um, restroom. Yeah, Pretty lovely. much the same. Lovely. So we're going to see the gym right now. Yeah, so what's, uh, what's in here? Okay, so this is the data room. And Steve, please stay out of this room <laughs> if you are not a techie. I mean, if it's in my house, I have to learn how to open yeah, this thing. when you know? buy it, give us the money and take the house. <laughs> okay, so on this end, we have a gym, yo. This is a... So well, this is a, a gym. fully equipped gym. Yeah. You know, so pretty sizable for the family. You have your treadmill mm. and every other. And I think when you arrange this properly, you still have the space for. Yeah, you can have know. this. Yeah, you can move this, you know, apart to create, you know, more space. More space. What do we have on the other? So end? you have a sauna to right inside this. Oh, gym. really? Wow. Yeah, and it's a, a single person sauna. Very you unique, know. you know. Yeah. So that's that's beautiful. Okay. Uh, this this is uh, this is bigger than I thought it was. You know, the this terrace. Is yeah. Life. You know, this, this brings you closer to nature. Do you know what is missing here? What is a missing there? Yeah. A pool. A yeah, rooftop pool. pool. Yeah, it would have been very lovely, you know? Steve, give us the money and um, <laughs> find a way to make it yourself. Yeah. So this is the open terrace on this property. And you can tell that this is pretty much sizable. Yeah. Over here, you have this lovely view of greenery, you know, Ikoyi greenery, the shrubs and everything. It just gives you that lovely good feel thing. of a very good neighborhood. You yeah. understand? And then I like the fact that it's very much spacious, you know. You can set up, you know, cabanas, chairs, anything. Just do them on here. You're on free. Here, right? It's a very lovely house, actually. Um, for the price point, it's actually worth it. I have some reservations, I have some things to say. I'd like, like to I, hear them. I would like to hear yours first. What, okay. do you have, what do you have to say about the property? Uh, first of all, this house is unique. I love houses that they pay good attention to the lines. You know, straight lines, very yeah. minimalistic feel. You know, the facade itself, you know, it's welcoming, beautiful. Mm. You can tell that it was exquisitely done. Yeah. Then you come inside, you see a developer that has paid attention to even the tiny little tiny details. details. Yeah. That matters a lot, you know. Running from the switch, the switches, the sockets on the wall to maybe the biggest things like, you know, the closets, the, the, closet, the yeah. type of, you know, finishing that was done, the flooring and all of that. Yeah. They paid rapt attention, attention. to details and I'm... I, I commend them for that. Yeah. So yeah, you pretty much said some of the things that were on my mind. Well, you mentioned I, having a reservation. I want to hear them. <laughs> no, no. Right. So, so first thing first, um, I kind of feel that the, the developer was trying to fit in a lot with the space he has. But okay. I understand because you mentioned at the beginning of the video the worth of you know land in Ikoi. So I really understand. But he really did a good job in doing that, even though some people watching this video will be saying, oh, we want a bigger pool, we want uh, more green spaces in the property, because I always get that a lot. But uh, you should understand that this is Ikoyi, and it's not, it's not quite pricey, because I have a video on the channel that's even way above this price, and you get less of what you're getting right here on this property. Uh, absolutely. So um, one thing you should know about Ikoyi too, so most people build vertically. So this feels like you're going to the New Yorks, the places, um, or, or the, the premium residential um, neighborhoods around the world that are yeah. picked already, you know, like the, when it comes to pricing and all of that. Yeah. So people build vertically. That's, That's yeah. why you see people buying apartment on floors and all of that. Yeah. Okay. So it's the same kind of um, ideology that was put into this development. You can tell that, you know, you have four floors, that's including the ground floor. Yeah. And um, yeah, just a way of putting everything that's needed in the house. So I'm just going to ask you on a scale of one to 10, how are you going to rent the house? I'll give this house 9.8. Well, I think this house is, um, deserves like nine. Yeah, probably we are almost at the same, you know, bracket with when it comes nine to renting. Nine is also yeah, fine. I mean, of course, there's almost, always room for yeah. If something else can be done, can be done, always right? Room for Even though, like me, I personally would have loved. Uh, you know, I love I love fancy fancy things. But I told you, buy this house. You can <laughs> knock it off and do whatever. You All right, like. guys. So you guys, let me know how you're going to read this house. Let me know the reservations you like, what you don't like, and what you like. Write in the comment section. Uh, my name is Steven. 
and I remain Anthony. So, um, yeah, right, right here on the channel, as you know, we're, we're going to keep traveling and show you guys lovely properties. Now, for the one percent of the one percent watching this video that really wants to come see this property because you have the intention of getting it for yourself, um, the contact information is going to be right below this video, so you can reach out. And then once we qualify you, we're going to bring you here, you see it for yourself, all right? Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And to the next property video right here on the channel, I'm going to see you guys soon. Thank you, Steve.